mind over matter, next batter be to cap. Put it on a platter, how much uncut? Raw shit we dealing with, murder track, what? Slang killing it, touched, you feeling it? In your bloodstream, deadly venomous elixir. Hammer like sledge, that be sister. All in the together now. Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Butch from Southeast Cichlids. Gonna do a video of the fish that just came in this past Friday from Germany. Uh, get started over here on this side, like always. Bode, you just hang out, be good, no barking. Aristochromus Christii. Um, got some really good males in. All these guys are six inch plus, maybe a few seven inch Christii here. Some star sapphire, Placidochromus, Venichalis, Tanzania uh, in this tank. Up here, Exochromus anagenius. Uh, do not have um, a whole lot of males. Um, got in uh, some females and going to be sending a group out uh, to a friend of mine who is going to start breeding a few fish for me. Um, and uh, these guys were at the top of my list of a fish that I wanted to. Uh, to have bred here in the United States. Um, have had some uh, good reaction to some of the fish that uh, I've talked about in some of these videos and getting guys here in the States to breed them. Um, and then uh, supply them back to me. Um, you know, I'd like to set up uh, a kind of a, a co op situation uh, like my German supplier has, um, where he has. Just a network of breeders in Europe that supply him with all the fish that uh, I get in. Uh, I think we can do something like that here in the United States, and I am uh, working towards that. Down here, uh, Protomelis lobachalis herte. Um, we've got some nice males and, and some females. Uh, also in this tank are Placidochromis. Uh, Gold and Bamba Bay. Um, first time I got these, I got three males. Second time, I got five males. And this time, I got 15 males. The next time, I was told the breeder was going to release some females. So that is good news for everyone that's been wanting to get uh, a group of these guys. Um, I do have a... Uh, list of people once I made the announcement about the German order uh, that these uh, in Bamba Gold were coming in. Um, probably uh, about 10 of these are spoken for uh, so there's still five more so i um, not exactly sure on my number as far as uh, already claimed but um, anyways bud gotta get by down here, Buca Chromis Rhodesia Yellow. Uh, there are a couple out of Pharynx Auro Marginatus Marguerite. Uh, I think I just got two of those. Um, uh, but the Buca Chromis Rhodesia, um, these are ranging anywhere from three and a half to uh, maybe four inch. Um, there are for, uh, a few for sure males in here. Um, there are uh, supposed to be some females, and uh, again, this is a fish um, that really needs to be bred here. Um, I think I think I've got someone who's going to take uh, a big group of these to, to breed them. I'm not 100% on that yet, um, but I should be able to pick out a couple ma for sure males uh, for anyone who is interested. Still have uh, some nice blue dolphin here, um, some Alanacara Yusisia, 
and Placida Chromis Johnston eye. Down here we have more of the Bald Zulu Red, Potomelis Bald Zulu Red, uh, commonly known as the Red Empress. Uh, we've talked about it. These, in my opinion, are the reddest of the red of your Red Empress. Uh, males and females available. Up here, Placidochromis Giselle. Uh, we got some nice males and some females available. And in the tank with them are Lynch Necromis Acuticeps, also known as the Malawi Gar. Um, I had to really work to, to get these. Um, as we've talked about before, it's not an easy fish to get here in the United States uh, because no one is breeding them. Um, well, at least if anyone is breeding them, they're not really out there. Uh, so anyways, these are F1 Acuticeps. Um, there are a couple of males, uh, for sure males. Um, the rest I'm hoping are going to be females and I am going to keep um, all of the suspected hopeful females. Uh, I'm going to breed this fish myself, but there are a couple males in here that I can pick out uh, first come, first come, first serves, you know. Um, there's only a couple. Uh, up here, a few Lethronops red caps still. Uh, still have some of these really nice Protomelis uh, fire blue, males and females. Um, I just took the really, really nice male out on Friday, uh, so um, no one has uh, claimed dominance yet in this tank. Uh, but there'll be, you know, there's several nice males. They'll color up. Cope, a chromis azurus, a couple dimetochromis, strigatus, uh, nemochromis fusco taniatus, oh, lemon jake swimming around in there, a couple Taiwan reef, a couple buco. This is just a tank I, I just moved some guys into before this shipment came in. Um, still, still good fish. Uh, Still lots of good ones in this tank. Up here are the uh, Snow White. Uh, they did not have any iceberg or iceberg redfin this time. Uh, I think I bought them out over the past uh, couple months, but um, next month uh, should be good to go on the really nice iceberg and redfin iceberg again. Uh, but these Snow White are pretty cool. You know, they've, they're not just an all-white fish. They have a nice pearl uh, color in the body and, and uh, some orange in the fins. So it's not just a straight white fish. More Copetochromis azurus and Protomelis Taiwan Reef. the auto pharynx sulfur head um, just came in really really nice 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 blazes on these guys um, we got males and females uh, these are auto pharynx spots sunny and uh, they don't look like much right now but um, this is a really, really, really nice auto pharynx. Um, I got a couple wild caught in uh, a couple orders ago and had a couple of full color males that are on video. Um, but if you Google this fish, uh, they're really, really, really nice. They're green, really intense green. Um, just a really, really nice addition to a tank, uh, all male tank because of the green. You don't get too many greens. Um, but like I said, uh, there's, they're not doing a whole lot right now. They're still on the small side, um, but there are several males on the verge of coloring up. Uh, so like I said, just Google 
Auto Phoenix spots Sonny, and you'll get an idea of, of how these guys look fully colored. Uh, these are uh, Lethranops in Bossy Creek. Um, really good males. Uh, got some females. Um, you know, when I say really good males, you might look and say, oh, well, they don't have color, but um, they will. You know, these fish just got here not even 48 hours ago uh, but I can I can just look at these males and, and tell you that they are going to be outstanding uh, very skittish right now uh, but this is a really nice lethernops lots of good good colors in them uh, Eureka Red I uh, got some nice male um, and some females on these guys OB Peacocks, uh, got a nice mixture, some orange, uh, there's one that's by there, it's even kind of yellow, uh, more yellow than orange, uh, some females and, and then you know just some blue and orange, I just asked them to send me a nice assortment of colors, usually I ask for orange red, um, and I think I was missing out on some of the yellows, but a good assortment of OBs. Bodie is um, still in the walkway. I will step over you. Up here, Alana Cara Ethelween. Uh, kind of the same situation with the Embassy. A lot of nice males. Got some females. Uh, they're just not settled in yet and really fired up, but um, the you know uh, the males are really going to be really really nice uh, once they do settle in color up might be a deal where I have to come back and do a, a new video on a couple of these guys um, later in the week up here still have a few Molochromus and Chus and some blue neon left over Cipochromus Microleptodotus uh, and Bimba Really, really nice sips, good size, lots and lots of yellow and blue sparkles in the body. Just a really, really nice sip. Um, up, up until recently, they were uh, really hard to get this uh, variant of, of the Bimba. So if anyone has a Tang Tank, uh, maybe with some Xenos or Feather Fins, or uh, just looking for something uh, for the upper water column, uh, sips are great for that. And these guys, again, good size, great color. Uh, blue Neon, a couple of Lemon Jake in here. Uh, nice Blue Neon with some females. Plus Citochromus Phenochilus Tanzania. Got some males and females. Males showing a fleck or two. A um, couple Malari Malari. Uh, one by color these are Alana Kara Kobu got some nice males and females of these guys really really good really, really good blue and, and red down here I've got some two inch uh, placidochromus White Lips, a couple of Benga, and also um, Alana Cara Chalumba, uh, left over from last time. I tried to get more this time, but uh, I didn't get any. Um, but I've got uh, maybe two really nice males like that, and two or maybe three females. Um, and uh, these guys this is where the Turkish peacock came from um, is the Chalumba uh, so not saying if you bred these you would get Turkish but um, just uh, kind of so you know if you don't already know a lot of people call Turkish a hybrid it's not uh, it came from that fish uh, the Chalumba uh, 
up here are some really nice bicolor. These came in a uh, really good size, um, probably pushing four inch. Really, really nice blues and yellows. And uh, got a few females for them. I've been trying to do better about getting more females with some of these fish. Because a lot of people ask me for females and I've just been in the habit of getting males. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. Down here, um, the Copeter Chromis uh, species in Benji Blue. I uh, got these in last time. Um, they're really nice uh, and they're breeding like crazy. There is a female holding them. Um, none of the males are really fired up too much right now. That one is, but they got a really nice blue, blue head and, and yellow in the body. Um, also, in here are the Otto Phoenix Walter Eye. I uh, sold a lot of the males um, from last time, uh, but still have a couple and uh, some females for those. And, uh, you know, they're different. There's a male Cobertroma species in bitch blue. Good color on these guys. Up here, uh, Pseudotrophius uh, Zebra Mason Reef. Uh, right before I started the video, there was a male in here just going crazy. Um, he shut it down right now, but a really good color. Nice size on these guys. Got red flash with females. Really nice red flash. Uh, this is a little group of wild caught Protomelis thick lip and Benji. Um, it's a male and four females. Uh, that's also a Ramsochromus escox. Uh, he was special ordered. Um, no one ordered these thick lips. Um, I got them in, uh, hoping I could get someone to breed them. And uh, if not, I guess I'll just put them in my tank with the acuticeps and raise them up and breed them because this is another fish that definitely needs to be bred in the United States. Up here are the uh, Ruby Red Rudder Kaiser. Um, these came in really good sized, uh, three and a half inch, um, and they all look like this guy. I mean, that's that's what the fish looks like. That th this one's just really fired up right now. Um, and again, you know, these guys just came in. They're still settling down, but uh, in my opinion, the Rotor Kaiser, uh, the Rotor Kaiser from Germany, um, is your best natural. Uh, ruby red um, and when I say natural you know these aren't hormoned um, they're not gonna lose the color uh, it, it just gets better and better on these guys um, so again uh, you know like that, that guy we were looking at that, that, that's what you can expect Got some more over here, males and females. And you know, like I say, some of them are a little darker. When they darken up, um, it's really, really a deep, deep orange uh, with a red tinge to it. Uh, that intensifies as they get big, uh, larger, more mature. Down here, um, we've got some Protomelis Mazenzi Reef. Uh, really nice protomelis, um, kind of bluish turquoise head with a, a yellow belly. Uh, I've got males and females of these. Also, Otto Pharynx black orange dorsal. I've got five males and five females. Uh, someone needs to get a little group of these with the five females going. Can see how dark they are. Uh, 
And those Mazinzi are, are nice. I really like the Mazinzi. Uh, over here, uh, these are the Auto Fairnix Domway Reef. Um, I had these a couple orders ago and uh, they sold really well. Um, so I got a few more this time. Uh, I got females with them as well. Really, really nice. Up here we have some firefish. Oh, maybe uh, two albino eureka red. And there might even be a platinum in here. Yeah. A few female firefish in there. Let's see over here we have a little protomelis uh, ornatus uh, he's wild caught he came in last time um, showing a uh, good color for a little guy uh, one lawanda one mylochromis uh, anaphorimus these are champs acromis spillerinkus um, I am putting these in one of the grow out ponds to grow them up for uh, future breeders. I don't know if I'm going to keep them for myself to breed or, uh, uh, you know, pass them along with someone else to breed them for me. But um, again, uh, we need more predators bred in the United States. Uh, so I am working towards that. Labidochromis hongi sweden super nice got some males and females the red on these fish is really really red and intense um doesn't really pick it up here but trust me up here are wild caught alanacara mdoka flame tail nice little fish Full color, good, good condition. This uh, this is the Alanacara Chalumba I told you about on the back side. I was planning to keep this guy for myself, uh, maybe future show fish, not sure yet, but um, I've got two males, uh, really nice, not quite as big as this one, and those two or three females I was telling you about earlier. And again, that's where Turkus came from. Another tank of the Labidochromis Hongi Sweden. Um, again, uh, you can see a little better over here. Uh, the red, the red just really, really pops on these guys. Uh, I think I got 35, 35 or 40 of these. Couple uh, wild caught and pinboy frontosa I got in for a customer. Um, right here, these are wild caught Lynch Necromus acuticeps. They're four males, they're not very big, three and a half inch maybe. Um, two of these will be available. Two of these I'm going to keep and I'm going to use the wild caught males here with my F1 females uh, to make my breeding group. Now look at that guy, he's already trying to fire up. He's firing up. Over here, this is a wild caught Trometocranus Placodon. Uh, got him in for a customer. Tried to get more, this is the only one that came in. Um, Super, super nice, you know. Uh, sometimes guys get mad when I put one of these fish that's special ordered and I don't have any more. Um, but I just want to show people, you know, what these fish look like and, and the next time, you know, you can order them. Kind of like up here, uh, these 
are really nice Protomelis ornatus. Um, special ordered, but super duper nice. Uh, some people think that ornatus and herte are the same, but they're not. Ornatus is turquoise, has a turquoise head, turquoise body. Herte does not. Their body shape is very, very similar. The head, the lips, but the color. So again, Herte, Ornatus, not the same fish. Another Malachromis, uh, larger Azurus, Protomelis, Spilinotus, Tanzania. Still have some Autolamprologus, some Boo Dwarf. Down here, really nice uh, Holotania. I mean, really nice. Um, big, nice males, got some females, I think five females. Uh, this is a fish that needs to be bred in the United States. Um, also got a few Dimitrochromus Kawingi males in here. Uh, I think I've got three females left over from last time. If somebody wants to tinker around breeding these, another great fish. Uh, I'm not showing uh, any uh, real good color in here right now. Again, they just came in Friday. Um, Holotania, crazy nice. There's a Kawingi showing some color. Another Kawingi. Uh, over here, Phosochromus, Phosochromus rostratus. Um, didn't get as many as I wanted. I really tried to load up on these guys. Uh, we had 42 boxes come in Friday, and uh, I had several boxes get cut uh, because they just couldn't pack anymore. Um, so, unfortunately, I think I got five males, um, a couple females, uh, local guys supposed to grab. Um, so I think five males, really four males, because I'm keeping one for my show tank. Sorry. Um, also got more of these Protomelis, Stephen I Eastern. Really, really, really nice Protomelis. Um, uh, got some females with those as well. But they are just really nice. One of my favorite blue, blue and yellow hats. Got uh, some special ordered uh, Petrochromis Red. Ten females uh, got in for customer. Uh, these are Xeno Tilapia Cherry Princess. Uh, these are females I got in for a customer. Uh, they're big, four inch, big Cherry Princess. Down here are uh, Nimbachromus venustus. Um, several nice males. Uh, in a couple days, they'll really pop. Uh, some of them, uh, the, the faces. I already got some nice blue and the blazes coming in. Uh, but you know, again, they just got here less than two days ago. Everybody's doing good, but it just sometimes takes them a couple days to uh, really adjust and fire up. Um, also have uh, some Nice Dimitrochromus Strigatus. Uh, these are really, really nice um, when they're fully colored up. Uh, there's been a few pictures going around on Facebook lately um, uh, with some full color Dimitrochromus Strigatus. So look that up and just Google the fish. They're, they're really nice. I mean, right now they're not too exciting, just kind of silver with a little blue. But trust me, when they fully color up, they are something else. Over here, we still have a couple of uh, Nimbachromus living stone eye, a um, couple Strigatus in here, uh, Nimbachromus lin eye, uh, Dimetochromus compressus up, a few male and some females. Uh, 
I think that pretty much uh, covers everything today. Still have um, Star Sapphire in all these tubs. The Champs Acromus Spilarinkus uh, I showed you, they're going to go in one of these tubs uh, in a week or two. Once, uh, once they've sat here in quarantine for a little bit, make sure they're good before I throw them in. Um, in this pond, I have uh, Buca Chromis Nodatania F1 and Champs Acromis Coralius. Uh, I got these in a couple shipments ago uh, to grow out. You know, again, um, either I'm going to breed them or someone that's breeding for me is going to breed them. Um, just part of the effort to get more predator types bred here in the United States um, in some numbers hopefully we are now going to have some north fin samples to give out um, I hope to have a form of some sort on the website soon that you can tell me if you want it want a sample of course if you're already feeding it you don't need a sample um, so look for that we just got new t-shirts done um, I'm gonna get those up on the site as soon as possible um, and you know go check out the website southeastcichlids.com uh, if you see some fish you like uh, we do have a, a quote form on southeastcichlids.com under the availability list where you can kind of fill out a form tell me what you're interested in tell me how you want it shipped um, at some point, the website will be set up uh, so that there's going to be a cart. Um, it's just uh, one of those things, still working on it, still working on it. Um, so in the meantime, go like us on Facebook, Southeast Cichlids. Uh, subscribe to the Southeast Cichlids YouTube channel. Sign up on the mailing list at southeastcichlids.com. Go check out North Fin USA. North Fin Food, Sea Chem Products, Kimmy Pure. So, until next time, we'll see ya.